Welcome back to Star Rapid, the company that does serious engineering for serious engineers like you. Serious engineering. This is part two talking about common plastic injection molding defects. In part one, link below, we covered weld marks and witness marks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about parting lines and sink marks. So what is a parting line? A parting line is where two halves of a mold meet when closed. Plastic is then injected at high pressure into the mold and it freezes off, picking up any of the surface features or defects in the mold. In the case of the parting line, it will pick up that feature as an ever so slightly raised line on the surface of the part. It's almost impossible to completely avoid or eradicate the parting line, but the effect can be reduced somewhat by doing the following. One, you can camouflage the line by incorporating it with other parallel or linear design features. Two, you can locate the parting line under a protruding feature like a rim or a cap. Or three, sometimes parting lines can be disguised with rough surface textures and matte finishes. And finally, four, lines can be sanded smooth and repainted afterwards. Finally, we will talk about sink marks. So what is a sink mark? A sink mark is usually some kind of depression on the surface of the part due to the shrinkage of the material underneath. Sink marks most commonly occur on a surface that has ribs, bosses and other voluminous features on the rear side of the molding. All plastics shrink as they freeze off, some more than others. One of the things you can do during the design phase is to identify where these sink marks are going to be and choose a material that doesn't shrink as much. Or you can even add something to the material like glass fibers or you can put talcum powder in and it will mitigate the shrinkage quite a bit. There are also a number of things that we can do to somewhat mitigate this effect further. One, maintain consistent wall thickness wherever possible, especially with adjacent walls or features that are on the other side of the part. Two, tooling engineers can build more cooling channels in critical areas. Three, process engineers can balance injection molding pressure, temperature and cooling times to reduce sink marks. And four, sink marks can be somewhat disguised with darker colors, matte finish and rough surface textures. There are a number of truly excellent and detailed guides on how to design injection moldings so as to avoid many of the common defects that we have been discussing in these two videos. Links to our favorites from DuPont and Xerox will be in the description below. If you're serious about plastic injection molding design, we strongly recommend that you read at least one of these guides cover to cover. Well, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next one. And don't forget, we're doing serious engineering for serious engineers just like you. Serious engineering. Side effects include prettier parting lines, having less of a sinking feeling and never having to worry about getting off to sleep as you read about how to design better parts and waking up refreshed in the morning as if you'd just been kissed by a handsome prince. Well, something like that. Where the hell did that come from?